everybody and welcome to our show today. Today we have a very exciting guest, Gertrude, a Sonoma County cow. Gertrude, do you want to start off by telling us a little bit about who you are and what you do? Mm -hmm. Alright, interesting. Um, Gertrude, what does a typical day look like in the life of a cow? Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's move on to the next question. Um, Gertrude, is it true that you have four stomachs? Moo. Moo, 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 moo. Hey, uh, maybe I'm asking the wrong questions. What can I find out about you without you needing to answer? What do you look like? Well, you're mostly white. You have some black spots all over you. It looks like it goes all over the body and it looks like your mouth is mostly pink actually and there's some little black dots on it what does your body structure look like you have some limbs four limbs in total there's one main body structure there's this head right here what happens if i give you this grass nice so gertrude appears to be eating this grass chewing on it thank you for coming in today gertrude you also can interview an organism. An organism is any living thing. I'm gonna interview the newt that I found right here. When you interview a living thing that is not human, you will not answer your questions with words. You'll have to ask questions you can answer through observation. Some kinds of questions you can ask are descriptive questions, counting and measurement questions, behavior questions, and time questions. I'm going to start with some descriptive questions. What are the main structures of your body? Hmm. It looks like you have a body, a head, four limbs, and a tail. What colors are your body? I see dark, like a blackish color on top, and orange below. The dark part on your back looks pretty bumpy and granular. What kind of place are you in? You're here behind the playground on some dirt that's close to green plants in the creek. When you interview an organism, you can take notes about the answers you get. I like to use pictures, words, and numbers in my notes. Now I'm gonna ask some counting and measurement questions. How long are you? Looks like you're a bit longer than my pointer finger, but not as long as my whole hand. How many toes do you have? I see four on the front limb and five on the back limbs. How many animals like you are around? Hmm. I just see you. That makes one. I can also ask behavior questions. What are you doing? You're staying very still. You're facing the creek. What happens if I gently touch you with a stick? Hmm. You're still not moving. You lift your head a tiny bit. I can see a little movement under your throat. Let's ask some time questions. How long will you stay still? More than a minute. I might have to stay here for a long time to answer that question. When you do an interview, you might wonder about some questions that can't be answered through observation. For instance, I wonder what the newt is thinking. How does it feel about me being here? Is it scared when I gently touch it with a stick? Why is it staying still? You can turn why questions into how, or what happens if questions like, how long will it stay still? Or what happens if I touch it with a stick? You can also write down questions that you can't answer through observation. Even though you don't have answers, it's still interesting to wonder about these things. Now you're ready to find an organism to interview. You can interview any kind of living thing, even plants and fungi. If you want to interview an animal, maybe you can interview a pet. Or you can try to find a wild animal, like birds or bugs outside, or even an ant on your kitchen counter. You can also interview animals that you observe by watching videos of them online. Remember to ask questions you can answer through observation, and take notes about the answers you observe. Then you can share the notes from your interview with someone, just like I shared my interview with you.
Welcome back to the show, everyone. Today we're going to be going around Westminster Woods and looking for some more animals to interview. So let's see if we can find any. Oh, what's that sound there? What is it doing? Looks like it's coming out of the recycling can. What are the main structures of your body? We got a head. We have four limbs. How tall are you? This creature is just a little bit taller than me. All right, we're down here with another creature and I'm just gonna start off by asking, how many tentacles does this creature have? One, two, three. It has eight tentacles. So what color are you? Really bright orange over most of the body. On the underside of its tentacles, it's actually a blue color. Wow, we got another creature over here. Hey, can I, can I interview you? Oops. Oh, okay. It's moving towards me. It's turning. What, is, what are you doing right now? It seems like it's kind of getting smaller. What do you feel like? A little bit slimy almost. How long will this creature stay in the same place? 